Hey guys, Andrew with 911 South. Today I'm gonna to do custom brake caliper painting. I'm gonna take you through the DIY on how I do that, how I chose the color I decided to uh, put on the car and what the process looks like. All right guys, so as I said in the intro video for this 991 build, the thing that I probably got the most positive feedback on with the 993 was the custom calipers and belts that I did. On that car, I had uh, these beautiful 18 inch uh, roof monoblock wheels. And so I pulled some inspiration um, from their logo, went with the green that they used for their logo for that car and just got tons of amazing feedback. So for this car, obviously I want to do a different color, um, not just repeat the same thing. My goal here was to choose a Porsche color that was instantly recognizable, something that people would see and say, oh yeah, that's such and such color from Porsche. That also went with the overall car and kind of the vibe of the build. So I narrowed it down to basically three options, call it two options. It kind of came down to Nardo Gray, of course is uh, a PTS color that is very popular, um, or Miami Blue. And so I put a poll out there, um, I was actually a little surprised. It was 50-50 with a slight edge to Miami Blue. And for me, I think if you're gonna do a color accent, it's sort of go big or go home. I want something that's really gonna pop. The car is basically all black, got gunmetal wheels, you know, it's kind of monochromatic. So I wanna go with something very poppy. So we decided for Miami Blue. So let me take you through the products that you need to order to do this yourself and kind of how that process works. You know, for those of you who are thinking about it, of course you can get this done at a paint shop, body shop, a lot of wheel places do this. But in my opinion, uh, it's an easy enough DIY. Is it gonna be as perfect as what you get done at those shops? No, they're gonna take the caliper off. They're gonna disassemble the entire thing. They're gonna you know, do multiple coats of spray and all that kind of stuff. But for me, when I'm thinking about a build and kind of return on investment, where I wanna put my money, for brake caliper, something you're only gonna see from the face side, you know, 98% of the time, short of like getting a brake job. It's easy enough to do it yourself with one of these kits and save yourself, frankly, a decent amount of money. So I'm gonna take you through my process uh, if you're interested in doing the DIY on this and have decided you're not gonna have it done at a professional paint shop. So let's get started. All right, guys, so here's what you're gonna need to do this project. Um, I picked up some delicate uh, painter's tape. Um, you're gonna need some brushes. You're gonna need a kit from G2. So you can go to uh, just Google and search G2 brake caliper paint. Um, They're kind of the leader company. Um, but you're gonna need their kit, which comes with the paint itself and then this hardener. And it also comes with some uh, brake cleaner. And so what you'll get in the kit is a brake cleaner, the hardener, and the paint. And what you're going to need to buy aftermarket is some type of craft brush. I happen to go with just these from Lowe's, kind of a Blue Hawk. You know, these sizes, I think, tend to work pretty well in terms of the tip and then the tape. So uh, you'll need all that. And then, of course, you're also going to need some Porsche lettering, some vinyl decals. So basically, the whole process involves... You know, as you can imagine, just painting these calipers, you know, as is, you'll clean them, you'll paint them up through their process, which I'll walk you through, and then you're gonna reapply the lettering and then you're gonna clear coat over that. So, you know, all this is high heat, it's rated, you know, you wanna be sure to get high heat vinyl lettering. I got mine on eBay, but just make sure you get stuff that's rated for high heat. Obviously the G2 paint is rated for high heat, but you know, the vinyl and the clear coat you use and those kinds of things, uh, you wanna do that as well. So uh, let's go ahead and get the car up on the lift. I actually will have the opportunity to use my new Quick Jack uh, 7000 lift, which has been a godsend on the few things I have used it for recently. So we'll get that set up real quick, get the car up on a lift, get the wheels removed, and then I'll walk you through kind of the prep process from there. So we got the car up on the lift, we took the wheels off, obviously. Quick Jack 7000 worked like a charm. Um, one note, if you've got a lowered car, which this is with an aero kit, um, you probably have to jack up the front of the vehicle, at least in my case, just to create a little bit more clearance under this, but no big deal there. Um, <clears throat> also a little quick note, for those of you who have Porsche wheels that have this style of setup where your lug uh, nuts actually go into the hub, this is a great little tool. It's a little kind of stud. You can screw in there once you've taken one lug off, and that way the wheel can hang and support there. So just a little FYI. But anyway, next step is gonna go ahead and get these calipers prepped. All right, guys, so before we uh, tape everything off, and what we do wanna do is to clean these. So we're gonna use the uh, brake cleaner that was supplied as part of the kit. I'm gonna give this just a liberal spray, take a uh, towel or rag we don't care about, and uh, just be sure we're getting all the brake dust, road grime, 
you know, all this kind of stuff back in here, you guys can see there's obviously a lot of uh, built up brake dust and stuff like that. You know, we just want to get all that stuff off of these uh, calipers, get them nice and clean before we get started. All right, so those are all cleaned up. As you can see, you know, we got the vast majority of all the brake dust and build up off of the rotors. You don't need to get 100% of it. I mean, you are gonna be painting over this, but you just wanna make sure you have a very good like bondable surface. So those are cleaned up. So next step is we're gonna tape off the rotor area and uh, some of the hardware in the back. Here, some of these clips and things like that, just to make sure we don't get any kind of over brush on those and then we'll get to painting. Obviously, if you're gonna be painting the caliper, you wanna go ahead and get everything, you know, in any kind of little vicinity that might be uh, hit by paint on the rotor side, taped off with that delicate painter's tape that I mentioned. You know, this is not a spray, this is a brush on, so you don't have to do like the whole rotor or anything like that. You know, really just kinda these areas right here. So we're gonna get that taped off, show you what that looks like, and we'll uh, get the calipers painted. All right, we are all taped off. So as you can see, main area of focus is gonna be <clears throat> obviously here, just to make sure we don't get any paint on the rotors. That would not be good. I did tape off this little bleeder valve where you bleed the brakes. Wanna make sure that we keep that rubber taped. And then on the back side, obviously there are some areas where you've got clips and whatnot that um, hold the caliper assembly together. We've got those taped off as well. So we are now ready to paint. So basically, we're gonna take the hardener, which comes in this, and uh, the paint itself, which comes in this. Mix those together. There are directions on the G2 box of how to accomplish that, and then we're gonna get to painting. That is the color we're looking for. So this was a custom color mixed up by G2. Um, they actually have the ability to mix colors to any particular paint code. I gave them the paint code for Porsche Miami Blue, and that is what we got. Always a good thing to check. As I was opening that, I was thinking to myself, Gosh, I got this a week or two ago. I sure hope this is the right color after all that prep. So we're going to take this. Uh, we're going to dump this in. And then you're going to give this a five minute stir just to get the hardener completely incorporated in there with the uh, stirring stick provided. So coat one is done. Couple thoughts. First of all, this color is amazing. I'm really glad I decided to go with this. Super unique on the car and certainly very different from the red. So with the color match seat belts, I think this is gonna be very, very nice with the black. The G2 is pretty straightforward. It's sort of idiot proof. Couple of thoughts. One, this is kind of an idea of what you get with a uh, first coat just so you can see here. You know, pretty decent coverage. There will be some spots like this where there's a uh, old color, whatever, showing through. Don't worry about that. I'd say the number one thing that you could do to mess this up is actually to go too fast and use too much. And so the only thing you really wanna be sure you avoid is runs, um, you know, drip marks. So go slow, you can always do three coats, but this stuff's pretty idiot proof, it's self-leveling. So, you know, this obviously goes on liquid and then it really starts to kind of level out and get very, very even. But again, you know, don't worry about these on the first coat. You're gonna come back over and do a second coat there and uh, take care of that. So we're gonna let this dry. So let's give it 15 minutes. Honestly, by the time I started this wheel and made my way around the car, it's probably been 15. So give it another minute or two and then I'm gonna hop back into a second coat and then, uh, you know, we'll see where we're at and see if we need a third. So that's two coats. Um, obviously you can tell it gets very nice coverage. So that's a wrap for the G2 stuff. Really can't recommend this stuff enough. It's like 60, 70 bucks maybe for stock colors. This custom color is like a hundred. And I mean, the ability to kind of do whatever color you want, as long as you have a color code is pretty awesome. And like I said, it's kind of idiot proof. I know a lot of people are very gun shy about doing their own caliper, but you know, it's a hundred dollar investment. You can only imagine what I would have paid to have this done elsewhere. Not that it's apples to apples. I mean, this is, you know, a very decent job, obviously for DIY. You're gonna get more professional results if you wanna pay for that. Like I said, this is really for me all about maximizing the dollar. So, you know, I save, I don't know, $500,000 here. I can put that into something else on the car. To me, that's a worthwhile trade-off in terms of, you know, kind of quality of finish, given that this goes inside the wheel uh, and you're really looking at it through a wheel at all times. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let these dry. They really need to cure for about 24 hours. So I'm gonna go ahead and let them cure 100%. Um, and then we're gonna apply, reapply the Porsche decals I ordered. We'll do a thing, a clear coat, high temp clear coat over the whole thing, and uh, then we'll call it a wrap. So I will um, show you the decal process, show you the final product, so that way you get kind of the whole start to finish. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the decal. Um, I've already applied two, I'll show you how that works. 
And then we're gonna let that sit for a second. We'll do a layer of clear coat over everything and then we're gonna be done. So let me give you a rundown on how to apply the decals that I ordered online to the new calipers. All right, so this is basically what they look like. They came in uh, all four printed on a sheet. I cut them out and they basically just stick on. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. So something I would advise is, you know, take kind of a peek at the caliper, you know, try to figure out kind of your center point and then use some of this tape to kind of give yourself a guide, some corners to get it centered. And then you basically just peel off the backing on this. Uh, you apply it, give it a good rub and then kind of peel that clear coat off. and. It's really that simple. So I order typically like three times as many as I'm gonna need just in case I mess up or, you know, they don't apply or one peels off, but you know, order some extras for sure. They're super cheap. I think it was like 10 bucks for all of them. You can get them in all kinds of colors. I went with white so that it will really pop off the blue. Uh, I figured that'd be the best combo and get them in any kind of size you want. If you happen to have a 991.cura.s um, like me, I'll tell you that the front size up in the front is uh, four and a half inch and then the rear is three inch. And that's what they look like. Super pleased, obviously adding the um, Porsche script gives it kind of that OEM plus look, which is what we're going for for the build. So I'm gonna apply the other two. And like I said, you just throw some clear coat over this, I tend to use um, a high heat variant. And so I'm gonna put um, some of this VHT caliper paint clear coat over the top of that. Let that dry, put the wheels back on, and then we're good to go. You know, one thing I probably will do actually before I put the wheels on is I also probably put some C5 wheel armor. I have a little bit of this I'm sitting around from doing the wheels themselves, which I covered in another episode. I'll probably put some wheel armor on the calipers for the same reason you put on the wheels, you know, just to make sure that brake dust doesn't collect on there. That way when you pressure wash these, um, you know, it should flow off nice and easy. So and once we get both of those done, project will be complete. So I hope you enjoyed um, kind of the overview. Hopefully it's helpful if you're thinking about doing a DIY on your calipers. If you've got any questions, you know, leave them in the comments below. If you would, please like this video, hit subscribe if you're enjoying the build and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.